Hey guys, it's M Beans and welcome to my channel or welcome back. Today I have found T Pain's dream address for Animal Crossing. That's right, T Pain, like the rapper, plays Animal Crossing. I don't know if this was public knowledge and everybody knew this except for me, but I just found out and Keep in mind, he posted this dream address in October of 2020, so he had like eight months to design this island. Um, I'm probably going to be roasting him a little bit, but you know, we all love T-Pain. I grew up with listening to T-Pain all the time, so um, we're going to tour his island. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and let's get started. Let's first up, pull up his map. All right, so here is his map. His island is named Oak Island and his dream address is on the screen. Here is Payne himself up here at the top. Then he has Plucky, Antonio, Sprinkle, Marina, Henry, Ollie, Mary, Lopez, Hans, and Kid Cat. Now before Instagram Animal Crossing was like a huge thing, we all kind of decorated like this, so let's not judge him too hard. But here is his entrance. This is totally a guy's island, like no offense, but a guy that's not into like cutesy designs um, would totally have an entrance like this, I feel like. Just some double waterfalls at the front and then resident services is super close with of course Godzilla and a transformer up here. Now T-Pain is worth $10 million. He doesn't have a lot of time on his hands, I'm sure, but this caught my eye the second I woke up from my dream. Nappy Boy Gaming. He has his own record label called Nappy Boy Entertainment, and now there's Nappy Boy Gaming. Like, I wonder who made this for him or if he made this design. It's like one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. A 5x5 five five design here. That takes up a lot of slots. Pretty cool. Pretty cool logo. So let's go to the right. And we have a basketball court. How cool. We need a basketball here to play with though. Um, it looks like he didn't decorate his beaches. Minimal effort. I love that. I also hate decorating my beaches. And we have an interesting little design for Nook's Cranny here. Just keeping it simple. Keeping the island very simple. Able Sisters is also back here. Just put some flowers around it. It looks good, right? And then the museum. He's showing off his um, crossbreeding flower skills. All right, all right. Or maybe he went to a Treasure Island. Treasure Islands weren't that big in 2020, though. All right, so the left side of Resident Services, he made a little playground. Cute, cute. And then he just lined up all of his villager homes in a row. Gave him some flowers, called it a day, said if they want some real decoration, they better do it themselves. I feel you on that. So what is over here to the left? Okay, so the neighborhoods have a little nightclub I feel like he was going for here. <laughs> With this pool or just the, you know, the neighborhood community pool. He's got some natural core over here. Just left the shells on his beach, you know. 
wasn't concerned about picking those up. A simple little lookout can go whale watching on his beach. He just left some stumps here for decoration. Beautiful. Oh, and look, he even went through the effort of making a rock garden. And this is like the viral rock garden video, like how to video. This is the same pattern that he taught in that video. Whoever posted that taught you how to spawn the rocks everywhere. So I applaud you, T Pain, for making a rock garden when your island is empty, per se. I don't want to be rude if T Pain is watching this. That's a lot of effort when you don't have your island already filled up. He's got some more flowers up there. Uh oh, stuck. All right, let's go back. Let's go back. Got some money trees. It's got to make that money. I feel like T Pain should have a whole row of mini trees. If I was designing an island for T Pain, I would have money tree row. Oh my gosh, is that him? You know the freaking vibes. Why is he wearing a bag on his head? That's so sad. Alright, alright, we got another money tree over here. I wonder if he actually did this or if, like, somebody else did this for him. Here is his nappy boy mansion. Let's go inside. Dude, look at this house. I wonder if his real house looks like this. I know he has something about top hats. Um, I just searched Nappy Boy Gaming on YouTube and T-Pain actually streams gaming. So I'm sure he did make this Animal Crossing Island. And um, people are actually like gifting him and his lives. I don't get that. He's worth $10 million and you guys are buying him gifts. Like, buy me a gift. I need money. I've never streamed before though, so I need to get on that. I just get kind of nervous. And also, my house can be kind of loud right now. My in-laws are staying with us. Since my husband um, got in a motorcycle accident. But here is his bathroom. 2020 is definitely calling here. I guess T-Pain didn't really like Animal Crossing that much because I couldn't find any videos of him streaming Animal Crossing or talking about it. But, um, let's see what else his house has to offer. Alright, here is his gaming room, which I know he actually has a gaming room in his house, now that I looked up Nappy Boy Gaming. It looks like he has like every console that there is, and they all have their own TV. Okay, so I just paused and um, watched T-Pain's MTV Cribs house tour. And he has a huge arcade, and it's already outdated. Um, I don't know if he has a newer one, but um, I was trying to see if his bedroom looked like this. It didn't really, but, you know, looks cool. I also watched a video of his stream where he's trying to show us his game room. Like now, and he has every single gaming system, including like the Sega, I mean, everything with their own TVs. It's insane. So, here is his attic of his Animal Crossing house. He did have a pool table, I did see that. Um, I didn't see any dinosaurs though, or you know, skeletons. Did you guys know that you can interact with a skeleton? So cool. 
but let's go check out his basement. All right, here is his basement, which is a recording studio. He does have a recording studio in his house as well. I think he had more than one. Looks like he has all of his villagers posters on the wall. Well done, T-Pain, well done. Back outside we go. I believe everything on the left is just basic flowers. Like T-Pain is too busy to be messing with Animal Crossing apparently. Although he's like streaming Skyrim and all kinds of other games. I take no offense, Mr. Pain. Let's check out over here. I really don't think he has anything else done. Maybe he's just calling this done. Oh, I see something down here. Let's go see. T-Pain has a toilet shrine, a golden toilet shrine. It says Cottonelle on the ground right here <laughs> in a toilet custom design. I don't know what this is supposed to mean. I toilet paper DTC. Down to clown. I don't know. But these are the automatic toilets that open as you walk. <laughs> and then boom. You're on the golden throne. This is hilarious. Is he sponsored by Cottonelle? <laughs> I could just run back and forth here. He has redeemed himself. Just with this toilet shrine. Speaking of toilet shrines, I toured a poop themed island on my channel. And they also had toilets everywhere like this. It was great. So if you want to see that. If this is funny to you, then you definitely need to see my poop core island tour. Alright, so unfortunately that is all that there is to this wonderful T-Pain island. But thank you guys so much for tuning in. Let me know if you know of any other celebrities who have dream addresses because I couldn't find any except for, I know that President Biden has one. Um, don't really want to get into politics on my channel. And I know that Frodo T. Baggins from Lord of the Rings played Animal Crossing and his dream address may have been public at one time. But I don't think it is anymore because I could not find it. Also, T Pain made a Animal Crossing song. I recommend going to check that out. Um, it's pretty hilarious. And one other thing, I noticed that there is another island tour um, of this island before it was to this point. It wasn't as done as this dream address here, but it's by Washington Post Gaming, and he actually did the tour, like T-Pain did the tour with him. It's a live tour, and T-Pain's talking about why he did certain things and all of that, so if you want to know more about why he did certain things, um, I recommend checking out that video because it's pretty cool to see him talking, and apparently his daughter loves Animal Crossing. So that's why he's playing. He's trying to keep up with her. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know in the comments below what you expected on T-Pain's Island. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and I will see you in the next one.